I'm going to share with you the new tech found in this Eufy E-Series robot lawnmower that will be the future of robot lawn care. Oh, that's the star of the show right here. And I'll also share with you my two biggest gripes with this new tech, which depending on your yard, you may want to consider before buying. Welcome to Freshly Charged, and in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Eufy E18. This is a brand new robot lawnmower that has technology we've never seen in a robot lawnmower that promises to make mowing your lawns even easier, setting up even easier, mowing even easier. It's a set and forget it system. This is gonna be a game changer for the future. The easiest lawnmower that we've ever set up, basically just plug it in and it's ready to go. And the star of the show is gonna be right here. And there is our robot lawnmower from last year. But these little antennas need to hook up to connect with the sky. You don't need to set that up here with this guy. We live in a world where we wanna shed and get rid of as many wires as possible. We don't wanna attach antennas to our house. We just wanna make it as easy as possible and with vision, this promises to do that. First off, first impressions, weight and overall appearance. Not too heavy that I can't lift it and curl it myself. Starting at the top, you have four buttons, a stop button, rain sensor. In the rear, you have these really large tires. So they're about seven Seven and a half inches in diameter. Master power switch. Rotating blade with three razor blades on it. There's also replacement blades supplied with it. The whole unit's contained with an IPX6 water resistance rating. Setup has been really simple. We're going to finish setting up the docking station where it can charge, and then we don't have to set up any antennas. We do have to connect it to Wi-Fi so that it can update and then just get ready, and then we're just gonna launch it and get it going. Sometimes we've had mowers sitting here charging and it got really windy out here or because it's on kind of a slight slope, it just disconnects. There's nothing actually holding the mower onto the charger. Interesting to see how well that performs. This looks like it's gonna just slide right into there. Taps into the ground. Turn on the power switch in the robot bottom. Oh, see, it said turn on the power switch on the robot bottom. That's oh. what it said. So let's go ahead and turn that on. So Andrew's screwing this in. All right, I am super pleased with this. I was worried that I'd have to get a separate app. We already have a security cameras for from Eufy, and with the same app, I can do a lawnmower. This is pretty crazy. So it's gonna start mapping now. Connected it to the app. Um, all I did was hit play. We did not set any wires. We did not set up any antennas. In the past, you've had to use your phone and with the app to drive the mower around the perimeter of where you want to set your boundaries. In this case, it just said hit play, and now it's going. Look at that. It went right to the edge and just stopped. This thing is mapping right along the edge. This is actually the hardest part about other robot lawnmowers. You gotta navigate it with the phone, draw the line on the edges. A lot of times the edge is imperfect, you have to redo it. A lot of times it doesn't quite come up to the edge, but the fact that this robot just mapped the edges by itself is very impressive. So one big thing is how quickly we got this set up. It only took us 10 minutes to actually set up the base, get it connected to Wi-Fi and download the app and update it. But overall, it took 45 Ooh. minutes for it to map it itself. Normally it's taken us about an hour and a half to two hours to map out the edges in the zones and in this situation we didn't have to map anything out we just set it out there and then 45 minutes later it came back to the base to recharge so stealthy that milo didn't even notice it going by him he barely looked at it at the last second i'm gonna try putting the camera right in front of it and see if he'll run into it It just totally juked it at the last second. It looked like it was gonna run into it. And instead of stopping, it just turned real quickly and went around the camera. Two weeks later. We rolling? The evolution of robot lawn mowers has been pretty impressive to watch over the last few years. What's so special about this Eufy Robot Lawn Mower E-Series? Pure Vision FSD, which means vision full self-driving, which uses cameras and intelligent algorithms to map out and to mow your lawn. So this means there's no need to lay boundary wires, no need to set up antennas, no need to calibrate or connect to satellites. To set this Eufy up, we literally just took the robot lawnmower out of the box, set up the base, connected the mower to the Wi-Fi, pressed start, and it automatically began mapping our yard on its own. Super impressive. This is easily the fastest and simplest robot lawnmower we've ever set up. Let's go over the key features and talk about who will benefit most from this new tech, and then we'll talk about 
a few of the gripes that I have with this mower. The first key feature I want to talk about is the wire-free setup with the Vision FSD or Vision Full Self-Driving Technology. The E-Series uses high-precision cameras and algorithms to autonomously map your lawn. No need for boundary wires, RTK stations, and in my experience, this results in a stable navigation system that can accurately detect the edges of lawns, obstacles, and pathways. With the RTK stations, you have to worry about getting a direct line of sight to the sky. If you have trees or buildings in the way, it can cause problems. In addition, you also have to wire it, so you need to make sure you have electricity wherever you're going to be plugging that in. But with this, with Vision Full Self Driving, no need to connect to satellites. So this is pretty cool. The reason why there are these openings here is so that the rain sensor can sense if there's water and not mow. Little touches like that make this very well thought out design. The next key feature is the hands-free auto mapping. The mower automatically maps your yard, allowing for effortless management of multiple areas, but with one caveat, which we'll explain in a bit. Built into this is a 3D perception system. The E-Series can identify and avoid obstacles such as toys, pets, trees, furniture, and swimming pools, and in our tests, it did great. The next key feature is it comes with safety and convenience in mind. The E-Series features a pet-friendly design. It has anti-theft system with GPS tracking and automatic recall during rainy or low light conditions. These features provide a seamless and secure lawn care experience. The dog was in the way of the mower. The mower approached it, didn't even bump the dog, saw the dog there, turned around, went the other way. And then what happens is they'll come back, the mower will come back, and if the dog is gone, or whatever was causing the obstruction is gone, it will mow the area that it missed. Very smart. Now let's show it at work. Okay, hit play. Starting task. Returning to the base station. Loading system. No matter how much tech you pack into a robot lawnmower, at the end of the day, it has to do a good job cutting your lawn. The cutting height can be adjusted on the app and with the single spinning disc with the three razor blades in there, it cuts everything really nice and evenly. The Eufy follows narrowly spaced parallel lines across the yard with a lawn comb in the back to get nice straight lines across your freshly cut grass. Its smart coverage detection system ensures that no area is left uncut, reducing the need for additional touch-up work. The Eufy handles gentle slopes of up to 18 degrees and like all our other modern robot lawnmowers, it's super quiet. And also like other robot lawnmowers, I have this cutting every other day, every three days right now, just because the grass isn't growing all that fast. But when we get into peak growing season, I'll have a cutting every other day, if not every day, so that we can get that fresh cut lawn and it's just healthier for your grass to cut it in little increments as opposed to just chopping off really tall grass which isn't as healthy for your lawn. A common question I get asked is where does the grass go? Well because you're cutting it so often you don't have huge clumps of grass to worry about. You don't have to bag it, you don't have to toss it. It just gets mulched back into the yard which is overall better for the yard, better for the environment. One of the things I just discovered is there's a remote control option. So from the app you can actually take control of the mower and drive it around. Hopefully in the future they add a function so I can actually mow and do touch-up work just using the remote. Okay, we have the Yuffie here on a slope and we're, let's check the angle here. About 20 degrees, pretty good slope. And let's give it a try. And here it gets to the steep part of the slope. So pretty impressive hill climbing ability for this mower. And then just for fun, I've got an even steeper angle here, 26 degrees. Look at that hill climbing beast. No problem. Let's talk about which model you should consider getting if you're interested in getting this 
Eufy E series. It comes in two different models tailored for different lawn sizes. It's basically the exact same mower except the E18 can cut a larger yard compared to the E15. Just know that like other robot lawn mowers on the market, the increased cutting capacity isn't because of a larger battery. It's because the E15 and the E18, which you can find on their website, both have the exact same battery capacity and the difference in cutting capacity has to do with programming or memory or something internal. Because I have this concrete barrier, I can't ride up on there. And so this we'll have to take care of on our own. Let's answer who's going to love the Eufy E-Series mower. The Eufy mower has the latest full self-driving tech wrapped in an incredibly simple and easy to use design that does a good job mowing your lawn. The setup can't get any easier and the full self-driving tech lets you skip the toil of setting up wires and antennas on your house or in your yard. In addition, since the full self-driving tech doesn't need a clear view of the sky to connect to satellites, the Eufy mower will have no problems mowing under trees or near tall buildings or structures all of which have been problems we've experienced in some of our past mowers. This lawnmower is like Milo's best friend. He always, first thing he runs to is to the lawnmower whenever he comes out. But we are going to show you what happens when it rain, gets rained on. Here we go. Raining detected. Returning to the base station. This is also a good example of how IPX6 water resistant. So should be able to handle water, rain, no problem. But after having tested the Eufy mower for some time now, there are some instances and some homes and some folks who may want to skip the Eufy E-Series mower. Who are these people? Well, if you have a yard with multiple lawns in the front and the back of your home, the Eufy can be programmed to mow separate zones. But here's one of my gripes. If your yard is like mine and you have decent Wi-Fi signal so that the mower can stay connected, you're good. But if there are areas where your Wi-Fi signal drops out, it may have problems connecting. And because either the battery is small or the vision system is power hungry, it may be tough for... What are you doing, Milo? Look at this guy. You silly guy. Milo, come. You funny guy. Milo wants to be in this one. And because either the battery is small or the vision system is power hungry, or maybe both, my mower could only go through about half of my yard before going back to charge. But the biggest gripe will come from homeowners who have lawns separated by rock beds, steps, and fences. With mowers that rely on satellite signal, I can carry those robots over the rock beds, up the steps, and through a fence, set it on the ground, and let it get to work. But if I want to mow my front yard lawns with the Eufy, it won't work, and here's why. Because the front and the back are separated by rock steps and a fence, the Eufy mower doesn't have direct access to the base station for it to get started. And and so even when I place the mower, the Eufy mower, in the front yard and I ask it to autonomously map and mow, it just wanders around looking for the base station and it won't start mowing until it finds and gets to the base station. So in order to have my Eufy mow my front lawns, I'll need to get another base station for the front lawn, which I've already ordered. The nice thing is the Eufy can cross paths and driveways up to 60 meters or almost 200 feet, as long as there are no steps or fences in the way. In addition, the base station in the front will give the mower a place to recharge or rest from the rain. My final gripe is a small one, but it affects me. Because the robot mowers that we've tested in the past, they're so quiet, I love to have them mow at night when there's little chance of anyone in my family being outside. A vision-based system returns to the base and will not mow when it gets too dark. It'll wait until daylight. The Eufy robot lawnmower system combines the most advanced tech that we've ever seen in robot lawnmowers in years past. It's super user friendly and with the features that it comes with, it's reliable, it's efficient, it's automated, it's wire free setup, it's precise, it's quality mowing. Make this a true set it and forget it lawn mowing experience so you guys can free up your time to do more of the things that get you excited about life. Thanks for watching. Check out our full written review at freshlycharged.com and remember to stay freshly charged.